This video is a guide to help make it easier to use your onboard 35LT. Please be sure to read the complete instruction manual and your vehicle owner's manual, which include important warnings and other information to make sure the seat is properly installed. Place the car seat in the back of your vehicle. Check to make sure the level line on the side of the shell is parallel with the ground. If it is not, adjust the angle of the base by pressing the release button and pulling down on the foot of the base until it locks into place. Now, remove the infant carrier from the base by sliding the base release handle up and lifting the carrier out of the base. Feed the vehicle belt through the belt path. Take care not to twist the belt. Buckle the vehicle belt. In most cars, when the vehicle belt is pulled all the way out, it switches to a locking mode. In that mode, the vehicle belt will tighten and will not loosen. That locking mode will keep a car seat securely in place. When the vehicle belt is in the locking mode, push down on the base and pull the belt through the car seat, taking up all the slack. Check the install by pushing and pulling the base at the belt path. If the base moves more than an inch, try to pull more slack from the vehicle belt. Or try another seating position in the car. Or try switching to lower anchor belt installation instead. Before using the onboard 35LT, make sure the buckle and harness are in the right place for your infant. First, to adjust the buckle location, turn the seat over to find the buckle's metal retainer on the bottom of the seat. Slide the metal retainer up through the seat. Put the metal retainer back into the desired location and pull up to make sure the buckle is secure. Next, adjust the shoulder harness to the correct location. First, loosen the harness by pressing down on the metal adjuster under the pad on the front of the seat and pulling on the harness straps. Now on the back, take off the harness loops from the metal splitter plate. Then, pull the harness straps through the seat back. Choose the correct harness position based on your infant's height. When installing rear-facing, the shoulder harness height must be at or just below your infant's shoulders. Rethread the harness straps through the seat back, keeping the belts flat and untwisted. Then, reattach the harness belt loops to the splitter plate, making sure they are all the way on. Place your infant in the seat and buckle the chest clip and buckle. Tighten the harness by pulling the strap on the front of the seat. Adjust the chest clip so that it's mid-chest, level with your infant's armpits. Pinch the harness at your infant's shoulders to see if it is tight enough. If it is tight, you will not be able to pinch webbing between your thumb and index finger. If you can pinch material, pull a bit more on the strap on the front of the car seat. Now you are nearly done. Place the car seat back into the base. You will hear a click when it's locked. Pull up on the front corners of the car seat by the infant's feet to make sure it is locked. The carry handle must be in the upright and locked position. Lastly, recheck the level line to make sure it's good to go.